reincarnation is the teaching that after death, the soul goes to a holding place and then enters a new human body. Some even believe we are incarnated into animals, plants, and even inanimate objects. This cycle continues over and over again for thousands of years until the person supposedly learns what he or she is supposed to learn. It works with karma, the idea that your past lives of goodness and badness affects the quality and the position of your next incarnation. Well, that might sound good, but it makes no sense. Think about it. If this is true, then each person had a first incarnation. That means that each person then had perfect karma since he had no previous life in which he had done anything wrong. So if he had perfect karma and he didn't learn what he was supposed to learn during his first life, what makes him think that after hundreds if not thousands of incarnations with accumulated bad karma that he's now going to be able to achieve the perfect state of union with this divine consciousness? And then there's the issue of final authority. When it's time to reincarnate, who or what is the cosmic authoritative figure that gets to decide whether or not you've been good or bad? These religions, by and large, have no God who judges, nor a gauge by which we are judged by. It's like having a justice system with no judge. It makes no sense. The whole idea of reincarnation is silly to me, because as I said inside the video, that in order to be reincarnated, you're going to come back as something better or worse. Well, who gets to determine whether or not you came back as something better or worse. Now, I actually have asked that question to people, and the number one answer I get is, well, you do. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and so then I ask, well, so what's... There's no wrong answer then. Right. I mean, that, that shows the ridiculousness of it. So I'm going to come back as a celebrity or as a president or as a king or as a lion. I mean, these are the things that I want to come back as, mm -hmm. right? So we get to set up our own standards. So it shows the ridiculousness of it. Yet at the same time, when you hone in and you ask them, hey, is it wrong to lie and steal and cheat and commit adultery? They're going to say yes. They know. And yet they've done those things themselves. So therefore, they should come back always as a lower caste individual or an inanimate object.